Hi everybody and welcome back to this special edition of Omni Edition Garden City as we take a look at the upcoming activities at the Garden City Civic Arena, particularly those activities going on during our Christmas break and Dan Plamondas is with us from the Garden City Parks and Recreation as well as the Garden City Civic Arena. Welcome back to our program. And thank you for having me. So lots going on during the month of December. A very, very busy month for you, a very busy month for Arena. It seems like the Softball season just ended about 20 minutes ago. Yes. And yes. boom, it's full speed ahead into the into the ice arena. Yeah, usually when the seasons change, you know, we start picking up a lot of activities. And uh, this, this week coming up here, uh, mid-December, we have a handful of activities that I think really tie in the holiday season and, you know, some charitable functions and groups that are really actively involved in Garden City. Um, you know, we have a lot of events going on that I'd love to talk about today. Uh, we have our Guns and Hoses event, which is a charity hockey game with the Garden City Police and Firemen. It's our fourth annual game. Uh, we also have the Garden City Figure Skating Club Christmas Show, which is a long-standing event in the community. Uh, they do two shows. They do one on Friday, uh, which is December 12th, and they bring in uh, one of the uh, schools from Garden City. Um, I'm not sure which school it is this year, but they pack the stands. I believe it's Memorial. Okay, fantastic. All right. Um, so that show will be Friday, December 12th at 10 a.m. Okay. And then the big show open to the community will be Sunday, December 14th at 3 o'clock p.m. Okay. So, and this yeah. is a neat uh, thing. It's a, a little different than the uh, usual end of the season ice show. Mm -hmm. It's a little uh, more spirited, if you will, and a little less structured. And it's a really nice event for them to show off the kids involved in the program. Absolutely. And I, and I know for the way that the club runs their activities, you know, there's different tiers of memberships in the club where the kids can in, participate in different functions. And this is one where you, you don't have to be an all-out club member, okay. where a lot of kids have the opportunity to participate in this show. So, okay. so we're excited to have that event, and the club puts that on, um, all the volunteers of the club, and a lot of kids have signed up for it. R immediately after the show this year, we're doing something new. We're doing a free uh, community uh, open skate, open okay. to the general public, completely free of charge, free admission, free skate rental um you know so we're doing that back to back with the club christmas show so that's Open the show on the 14th the correct. sunday show correct yes so three o'clock for the actual show mm -hmm. and then the open skate after that at about four o'clock right correct yep it'll be immediately following the uh the christmas show by the club and that's free that's free that's so open yep. skating for everybody yes so yep. come maybe watch the ice show catch absolutely. part of the ice show catch all of the ice show and then the free open skate afterwards absolutely yep all right okay, so that's sunday the 14th let's backtrack now to Saturday the 13th, the big Guns and Hoses hockey game, which has become a pretty big deal mm -hmm. between the police and the fire department here in Garden City. Yep, so this is our fourth annual event. Um, this year, like you said, it'll be on Saturday, December 14th. We have a lot of smaller activities and uh, some events going on that are part of the day. We'll really kind of start things up around 3 o'clock. We're doing a coaches broom ball game, which is Westland coaches versus Garden City coaches. Four o'clock, the puck will drop for the game. Four o'clock or sometime around that Somewhere time. Somewhere around there, yeah. Ish. Um, yes, <laughs> yep. So the game will go on essentially from about 4 to 6.30, maybe 7 o'clock. They'll have at intermission, they'll be doing a chuck-a-puck. Um, they'll have uh, the Westland and Garden City mini Mike kids will come out there and play a small game. It's always fun to watch the little kids out there playing. And then they'll have 50-50 uh, gift baskets for raffle. Um, they're doing the broom ball game, as I said, and, you know, just a good time for everybody. Uh, and it is a charity hockey game. Correct. And the correct. Garden City Hockey Association and the GCYAA this year are the beneficiaries, right? Correct. And, and, and me as the rank manager and the rec supervisor for the city, I, I'm ecstatic that the, the folks that run, run that game have chosen those two groups. Um, everybody that supports youth sports in this community, you know, can, can appreciate that. Um, everybody's on tight, strict budgets, and, and all the proceeds from this event are going to go 50% to the GCYA and 50% to Garden City Hockey. So that's a fantastic Absolutely. Um, reason to come on out. And, it, and it's a great event. It's a great, <clears throat> uh, it's a great community event. There's a big rivalry between mm -hmm. the PD and the fire department. Yes. So this is a great event for everybody. Yep, and, and, and I know that the police department are defending champions. I don't know the year-by-year -year breakdown, um, but uh, I know there's already been a lot of uh, trash talking, per se. So... I'm sure uh, you know the gentlemen over there in those two units will be excited to drop the puck and 
have at it. So Absolutely. Yeah. So that is approximately 4 o'clock on Saturday the 12th. That's correct. Okay, fantastic. 13th. 13th, rather. 13th, Sorry. yes. Yeah, don't, there is no Saturday the 12th, so don't show up on Saturday the 12th. Right. So, so Friday the 12th is the 10 o'clock in the morning ice show, which even though it's designed for the elementary school kids, the building is open if people wanted to stick their heads in. Correct, yeah. If you're out walking the path or you're just driving by and you see a couple buses in the parking lot at the arena, by all means, stop by. The doors will be open. Okay. No charge, and it's kind of a... A precursor to Sunday's big show. So, right. uh, yeah, absolutely. Come on out. 13 Guns and Hoses for about 4 o'clock. And then on the 14th, the other ice show, a repeat, uh, but that's more for families, for the general public beginning at 3 o'clock. Correct, correct. All right, which mm -hmm. takes us unbelievably crashing into Christmas already. Yes. Uh, again, it seems like uh, mm -hmm. we were just playing softball a little while ago. Yes. But lots of activities in the Civic Arena. You've been able to fine-tune over the last couple of years the activities that go on, reach out more mm -hmm. to the school kids. And we talked about this before we went on. Uh, as, as much as a couple of old geesers like you and I mm -hmm. despise Facebook, Yes. It's how you reach these kids, Absolutely. and it's how they find out about this, and this is where they expect to find their news. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I just started recently on Facebook, I would say probably about the last year, year and a half, and it just dawned on me one day that every one of my customers is on Facebook. That is how they communicate. So we've taken advantage of that. We've really promoted not just programs and, 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 and opportunities for people to be in our, um, to be in our programs, but more success stories, too, of things that go on so people see what kind of things mm -hmm. are going on in your ice arena. Maybe, you, maybe you're not an ice skater, maybe you're not a hockey player, but you know this arena has been part of this community for a lot of years, and um, I think it's good for the community to know um, what goes on in their, in their home rink. So this upcoming Christmas season, you know, during the two-week shutdown for the schools, we always add on extra activities. Um, this year, the arena will be closed Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Sure. And we'll be open Monday, Tuesday, and Friday of those weeks. On those three day, six days, we'll have open skating daily from 1.30 to 3 p.m. We will have sticks and pucks, which is kind of like open gym for hockey players. <laughs> um, we have sticks and pucks from 5 o'clock to 6.30. Now that's an hour and a half session. We're also doing a discounted sticks and pucks on those days from 10 to 11 a.m., a shorter session for $5, so a little bit lesser. Um, and then in addition to that, we also have glow skating, which is kind of our marquee event there on Saturday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. All programs are very affordable. Um, I, I always say you can bring a family of four out, keep it around $20 for admission, and maybe if you get a, a drink and maybe a snack from the snack bar. But all of this information is at the, the city's website, uh, gardencitymi.org forward slash civic arena. Right. All right, and that will take them to a an enhanced site, if you will, that has all of this information Correct. and great schedules and a great look uh, for that website. Correct. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So again, these are these are just the activities throughout the holiday season, mm -hmm. so folks can find them there. Also, what is your Facebook? Uh, I don't want to say address, but what do people look for on Facebook to find you? Boy, I have to remember that. <laughs> I guess if they just put in Garden City Civic yeah. Arena, they'll find it, well, right? Well, and if you go to that website, which I just read, there's a link at the very top of that page with a Facebook icon that'll take you right, right. there. So if you like that, you'll get this information exactly. right into your Facebook every day. Absolutely. All right. Yep. So really a lot of great stuff to do mm -hmm. throughout the holiday season. So great places to take the kids mm -hmm. and uh, when they get stir crazy after Christmas and they've, they've had enough of uh, whatever they got for Christmas, yes. you can take them to the ice arena and it's not just for the kids, it's for the entire family. Absolutely. You know, open skating, you know, I've, I've said this in the eight years I've been with the city, you don't have to be a figure skater or a hockey player to come to the arena, you can sure. come open skating. We have over 350 pair of rental skates. Um, I would say, and, over, and they're fairly new. Yes, over half, <laughs> over half of that inventory is brand new. Yeah. So they're very beginner, you know, base skates. Right. Um, it's not an intimidating atmosphere. So, you know, um, open skating is a fun time to come out. We have lots of uh, pushers, what we call them, for the young kids to go on the ice. So, um, but yeah, absolutely, come on out. Move it along it. here. Move yes. it along. Here. Yes. Um, okay. And also, even though we just got out of summer, mm -hmm. we're just into uh, the cold weather sports, one of the things that you have to do as a year-round cycle is already get people ready for the springtime and make sure they're signed up for those activities. Correct. Yep. So um, as the calendar turns, you know, we'll, we'll kind of shift gears. We're already planning spring. We'll really start, you know, implementing spring activities 
on the calendar, I would say January 1st. So one of the big things in Garden City is the, is the pavilion rentals in the park, uh, Garden City Park. So we have the large pavilion and we have three small pavilions. The rink, the ice arena is closed on January 1st, but we'll start taking reservations on January 2nd. So, um, you know, full payments due, you know, when you make your registration, you make it in person. Now something new, and we didn't even talk about this prior to this, uh, this interview, the Ice Arena and Parks and Rec is going to start taking credit card. Okay. So we are set up and still finalizing some of the policies and processes for that. But we will take Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and Discover. So citizens will now be able to make their reservation over the phone, which is a fantastic opportunity. And, and we'll be utilizing this in other parts of the department as well. So, But uh, we always have a line for pavilion rentals on that, on that January 2nd in the morning. So... If you know your reunion day, your class reunion, your you know your family picnic, whatever, I would highly suggest coming out and uh, bringing a check, cash, or credit card this okay. time, and uh, we'll get you signed up and squared away. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you're already looking at your your spring softball, right? Yes. Yep. We're already planning spring softball. If you can believe it, we just finished November 9th. So we're wow. You really, we went that late. Yeah. Huh? We're not that, and, and we we should have been playing longer, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're already thinking ahead and we're already planning ahead. We usually start promoting it in January 1st. We really start signups around mid to late February. And then when, once Mother Nature is ready for us, we, you know, we'll, we'll start putting you know, teams on the field. Sure. So, and you guys had a really successful season. Did you do three seasons at a spring, summer, and a fall? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's been kind of the trend here is doing the three seasons. We do a spring and a summer season, which are traditionally about a nine to ten week schedule. And then the fall season is a smaller schedule. Okay. So, yeah, so we're doing really good. And as some cities have gotten out of the softball business, mm -hmm. our business has really picked up. Yeah, you know, I, I've been with the city for eight years, and we've, we've increased our numbers every year I've been here. So um, I, 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 love, I love patting myself on the back on this accomplishment. <laughs> um, but, you know, we started with 27 teams. In, in 2007, last year we had 155. Oh, wow. So, you know, and, and these are not just Garden City residents. These are people from all around Southeast Michigan mm -hmm. and uh, teams that play three, four nights a week. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good program. It's a good outlet for, uh, for men and women to come on out. So uh, it's a good program. I'm proud to say, we, you know, that we run a, a well-ran well program. And real quick, going back to the Civic Arena birthday parties, we talked about it for a quick second, but explain that a little more. Yeah, so, you know, at the Ice Arena, we've really been trying to promote having your birthday party at the Ice Arena. We have a small room upstairs that can seat about, oh, 25 to 30 people, but we had a party with 45 people in it last weekend um, for a very reasonable cost of uh, anywhere from about 6 to $8 per child. You can bring your own food, your own pizza, whatever you want, into the ice arena in the in the meeting room um, we ask that you buy your beverages from us and that includes admission and skate rental okay. you can book the room for 25 dollars an hour you can have it for as many hours as you like you can come during our glow skate on saturday nights maybe if it's an older group of kids or if you want to come during the sunday afternoon open skate where the lights are on it's a little more casual atmosphere um, either or so okay. call the ice arena and we'll get you squared away and what is the phone number at the ice arena 734-793-1882 okay very good and again mm -hmm. you can go to www.gardencitymi.org forward slash civic arena and if you don't remember the civic arena there's a link on the city website to get to the civic arena site and uh, quickly then one more time, Guns and Hoses on Saturday the 13th. Correct. The ice <clears throat> show for the Christmas ice show on Sunday the 14th. Mm -hmm. And then all of these great activities, open skating, sticks and pucks, drop in hockey, all kinds of stuff during the Christmas season. Absolutely. All yes. right. Well, good luck with all of it. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas. Same to you. All right. We'll wrap up Omni Edition Garden City right after you watch it. <laughs>